The Caribbean Public Health Agency, CAFL, recently hosted a food safety and water quality training with the aim of building the capacity of environmental health personnel to monitor food and water quality and to investigate food and waterborne disease outbreak. Chief Environmental Health Officer Paco Ragnanan welcomed the support from CAFA and says this will assist tremendously in the monitoring of water quality and determining the wholesomeness of food. I think this training would put us in a very good position to be able to analyze the quality of the water that is out there in distribution. And, uh, and, and therefore, this is a, a brilliant initiative. When it comes to food safety and our officers who go out and they do inspections of foods for wholesomeness, uh, we depend solely on uh, what, what is termed organoleptic evaluation. That is why you use your senses, touch, vision, smell. But in 2022, just an organoleptic evaluation and assessment is not adequate. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George says this training is very important and will assist St. Lucia in reducing the impact of food and waterborne diseases. This training for our officers would now allow us to be doing food and water testing from a wide range across the island. And as we are aware, we depend highly on tourism as well. So it will also make our tourism product and a big part of the tourism product is the restaurants and the food um, services of the hotels as well. So it will allow us first of all to be able to pick up in a timely manner where we may have issues with our food and water quality so that we can put effective measures in place to reduce the impact, reduce the impact that we're seeing on persons within the community. The Caribbean Public Health Agency CAFL will provide training, equipment, and laboratory facility to conduct microbiological testing of food and water. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs, I am Fennel Neptune.